Hello, my name is Leonardo and I'm from MaximoCon. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make an item condition-based. That means that you can have several states of an item. For this example here, in the inventory item master application, we are going to use this tire. It's a truck tire FH540. And the idea here is to show you different conditions. Let's say new, used or refurbished. Okay. So first I have to tick this box here. Condition enable. I cannot save. If I try Max will say that I need to enter condition codes. And by that, I need to have at least one line here with the condition of 100%. You have this application here that I'm not going to show you, but you can enter in your system if you like. Condition codes where you can manage this table value here. Okay, so we have new, we built and use it. New 100%, this is the condition that will base the price, the cost of the tire, rebuilt 6% and use it 30%. Let's add the new one and let's also add the use it. I can change the condition height for this item only. Let's say that for this case, the use it condition height is 50%, which will be half the price of a new tire. And that's it. That's very basic, very easy. My item is already active. I already have my item number here, my description. And now I have to add my item to storeroom. This is one of the ways that you can do that. But for this video, I'm gonna use the simplest and easiest way through this item master application. You could uh, acquire this tire through the purchasing process, but it's not the case. I don't wanna go there now because this video would be huge because the purchasing process can be complex, all right? Let's say that the unit cost is 2,000 for a new tire. I'm not gonna use a bean, the balance. I have 10 issue in it each and the same for the order unit now i just have to click ok and let's go to the inventory application in the same module and now i can find my item here which already has the balance of 10 and since this item is condition enabled, as you can see here, we already have the first inventory cost with the condition of new with the cost of 2000. And let's say that I want to add a new um, amount of tires, another 10. I can use here, of course, as I said before, you can also acquire the tire through the purchasing process but since this is not the case let's just put here use it which is the other condition that we have enabled for the item use it and standard cost half the price but i can change here manually if i want but i cannot change the condition rate that comes from the item all right so let me save my record here and new row in the inventory balance. This action is not, oh, sorry about that. I need to change the status. Otherwise I cannot add balance, but this is quick and easy. Now I can add, let's say that I want to put for the use it, the balance of 10. Let's say that I'm 10 and this, the physical count is the same since I'm adding this for the first time and here we go we have the current balance of 20 and we have 10 of each and each one with its respective price and that's it nice and easy very simple no mystery all we have to do now is to issue the item against a work order 
the usual way of issuing the item. Let's say that you have a work order to change the tire of a truck. All you have to do is to choose between one of those balances and the cost will be held against that particular work order. That's all I have to say about that and I hope you like it. If you have any questions, please add a comment below, like the video, click on the thumbs up if you think that it was useful, subscribe to our channel and click in the little bell to receive notifications. We have new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you very much and see you later.